Hi, my name is Kate and I have been involved with cryptocurrency since 2016. I'm a former accountant who became a full-time trader. In this video, I will share with you how to set up a trading bot or how to create your own simple trading bot using your favorite indicator. If you're interested, then keep watching. You're going to need four things. First is access to your trading bot that you have previously purchased from somebody or at your favorite trading indicator that you will use to create your own trading bot to automate your trading strategy. Second, you're going to need a separate account on trading exchange or a sub account. It will make it easier for you to keep track of your trading bot performance. Third, you're going to need an account with TradingView. It's amazing. I use it all the time for charting for manual trading. And recently I started using it for my trading bots. I pay around $15 per month for my monthly subscription. I usually buy mine during their Black Friday sale for the whole year. And fourth, you are going to need a paid subscription plan with a service called Alertatron. I believe you are going to be fine with their cheapest subscription plan as well. It costs around $30 per month. Let's start with setting up our Alertatron account. You are going to either sign up or sign in if you already have it. Inside, once you have your account created, you are going to be given a unique webhook that you can find under Incoming Alerts. It's a sensitive information, so I'm not going to click on it and show you mine, but remember it, you're going to need it later. You will be able to just copy and paste it. Let's start here with going to Automated Trading and choose Manage API Keys. Here you have several options, so choose your favorite, give it a name. I would stay away from anything complicated. Don't use capitals, don't use numbers or symbols. I find it convenient to just identify it by the name of the asset, time frame, just like that, Ethereum 2 hours. We're going to need that same name in several services later on so remember it now we get to the api part you will be able to get it on your exchange it is not hard to find out how to create api keys this process is just a little bit different on every exchange but the basic idea behind it is you just have to go to settings and create api keys give them name and you will be given the key and the secret then you will have to set up permissions i would recommend allow trading only or setting up orders only do not give it permission to withdraw funds from your account so you will just need to post your key and secret here click on add api keys agree to terms and conditions once you have it done for yourself you will have it show up down below here next You'll have to go to alerts and add a new group. Remember that name we gave our API keys earlier. You'll have to use that same name. Then you will need to add a tag and that same name. Make sure it matches exactly. It's very important. Don't change anything below. Just go straight to create new group. Now, once the group is created, you will have to install integration to it. So click on a little plus on the right hand side of the screen. Here it will be presented with several options. You need to choose automated trading. Agree to terms and conditions. All set. So we are done with the Alertatron part of it. Let's move on to trading view. Again, you will have to either sign up for a new account or sign into existing account and have their basic subscription plan. So we'll go straight to products, chart, choose a ticker for the trading pair you would like to use, the time frame. In my case, it's Ethereum to our time frame. That's what I use for naming my API keys. Then you will need to do a little bit different steps depending on whether you have a trading bot that you bought from somebody previously or if you would like to create your own simple trading bot based on your favorite indicator. 
you're going to need to go to indicators. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a trading bot that I bought from Bitpool. I'll be able to find it in my invite-only script, Dynamic PRS. To set it up, I need to add to my chart both Dynamic PRS and Dynamic PRS Study. This bot costs me around $300 per month just to have access to it, regardless if it's making or losing money. And in my next video, I will share how much money it made or lost for me. And take into account the cost of the bot and all the subscription plans. So if you would like to know, I would recommend you to follow my YouTube channel. Now we're going to click on alerts and add a new alert. On the screen, you are shown several options and we'll go over each one of them. Condition is what triggers your trading bot. So depending what indicators you added to your chart. So I'll have to click on Dynamic Paris Study. Now we have to set up if it's going to be short or long. Now we're going to choose out of the following options. How often would you like your alerts to trigger? I would recommend to choose once per bar close. Once per bar close, yes. Because it will make it easier for you to keep track of your bot's performance on the backtesting tool built into your bot if you bought it from somebody. If you are going to automate a simple trading indicator, you are not going to have the automatically calculated backtesting tool. I will go over it in more detail in one of my future videos. Let's go to the next step, which is expiration time. My subscription plan does not allow open-ended alerts. It only gives me two months ahead of time. So I will set a reminder on my phone to log back in two months later and push the expiration dates for a couple months further. Now you'll have to choose how you would like to receive your alerts. I prefer email only and maybe notify an app. Now we're going to need webhook URL. Remember early in the video, I told you that on Alertatron, you would be given a webhook address, which is a sensitive information and I didn't want to click on it to share it. Mine already got copied and pasted because I already have some alerts running and some trading bots trading for me. But let's go back to Alertatron and I'll show you again where you would be able to get it. You'll have to click on your account name and then incoming alerts and you'll be able to see your webhook. So just copy and paste it in this little window here, webhook URL. Next, you will need to give your alert a name. And now we got to the most interesting and the most complicated part of all of it. It is a message that you're going to send to Alertatron. It's called Syntax. The details on what goes into Syntax could be found on Alertatron website. I already have my Syntax put together. It took me quite a while. By the way, you would be able to find this information in the description box below where I linked an article from Alertatron where it explains every piece of the code in this syntax. To long, I'm going to copy this first part of my syntax and paste it in our trading view. This is it. Click on create. And now we have it, our first trading alert. Once it's successfully created, it will show up on the right side of your screen where you will be able to pause it, resume it or edit it or even delete it altogether. So now once we have our long, once we clicked and created it, make sure you have stop loss set. Since we already have long set up, we're going to need long stop loss. Out of options, we're choosing once per bar close. Expiration time as far as TradingView allows us based on our subscription plan. The webhook URL is likely already going to be inserted for you because you already created your first alert. So it just get, gets easier with the following alerts because this information is going to be copied for you automatically. Now, the alert name, I would just call it long stop loss. For the message, 
it's our syntax. So I open my file where I have my syntax saved. And for stop loss, the syntax is going to be different. So we copy it and paste it in the message part. Click create. Now we have it. It appears on the right hand side of the screen for us. Now we have to make sure we create a take profit. Now we have it. All six alerts are ready to go. All of them are active and could technically start sending orders to exchange for you as soon as your indicator sets an alert or comment to short or long stop loss or take profit. It will get executed automatically on your exchange on your behalf once you have all of this set up and connected. I'm going to go over a few lines of syntax for you because it's the most difficult and complicated part. So in long here, we have our tag Ethereum 2 hours. This is the line that we created in Alertatron earlier. It needs to match exactly of what you put in under your API keys and group of alerts in Alertatron. So this part has a tag in it. And this one is without a tag. Next would be the name of the ticker that you're going to trade. In my case, it is a perpetual futures contract. It needs to match the name of the contract you're trading on your exchange exactly. They're all a little bit different on different exchanges, so make sure you look up yours. I do not let it use leverage. If I were to use leverage, which I highly recommend not to, instead of 100% for 2x leverage, you would use 200%. For 3x leverage, you would use 300% and so on. Another thing that I would like to point out would be the stop loss. Usually, I have a separate alert set up for the stop loss that we already created, but it would be a good thing to set up a hard stop 15%. In my case, I like to use 15% stop loss for something like a black swan event on the market. It is when the price changes so dramatically that sometimes the indicator that you chose for your automated trading strategy or your trading bot cannot react quickly enough. And this could really hurt your account and draw it down by a big amount. So usually the indicator or the bot should be able to react quickly and send a stop loss command but just in case to be safe and sorry i do have it set up at 15 percent here so this figure could be changed custom to whatever you like could be 10 percent five percent three percent and this is basically it Yay! on this channel i will talk about my experience with holding crypto versus trading it about trading bots, hackers, Ponzi schemes, everything in between. If you like this type of content, then follow me for more. And don't forget to look me up on Instagram.